In this problem, we're going to be asked to write an exponential function given a set of data that represents time and population over time. So we're given that the growth is exponential. We're also given that t equals 0 represents the year 2000. A, our initial value, is the population in 2000. And B is the ratio in population between the years 2000 and 2001. Let's use this information to write the model that best deals with this situation. The first thing we need to do if we follow the process that we just learned previously is we're going to need to identify our value for A. Our value for A is our initial value and we were told it's the population in 2000. So that's A equal 12,545 people. Our next task is to identify our value of B, which is our common ratio. We were told that B represents the ratio in population between the years 2001 and 2000. So let's write that ratio. 15269 divided by 12,545. If we divide that on our calculator, I'm going to do that over here, 15269 divided by 12545, we're going to get the number you see on your screen, and we're going to round that number to two decimal places to get 1.22. Once we have our B value, we need to plug the A and B into our equation of exponential form. We're going to write as a function, since it represents population over time, P of t equals 12,545 times 1.22 to the t power. So there's our exponential model, our exponential function, however you want to call it. Let's take a look at part B for this question. Part B says, using this model, forecast the population in the year 2008. So the year 2008 is not listed on our table, so we're using our model to help us understand what the population was in this case. Perhaps it was used in the future at one time. We first need to understand that this is a given input find output question. In other words, we know time. We are given time. We are looking for population. So we are given time find population. The time I'm given, 2008, I need to subtract my initial value of 2000 that tells me 8 is the number of years. 8 is the number of years. So I'm actually going to compute my function p at an input value of 8. So that's 12,545 times 1.22 to the 8th. Let's see how that works actually on the calculator. So that's 1, 2, 5, 4, 5 times 1.22 and then exponent 8 enter we get the value you see there we need to round to the nearest whole person so we can't have 0.1 people so 7 essentially 7.1 would round to 7 so 7 is our last number in the value of people so we would have 61,000 567 people in 2008.